Good evening and welcome to another flipped classroom video. In last week's flipped classroom video, you saw how to add two two-digit numbers. Tonight, we will be talking about how to subtract two two-digit numbers. Oh no, more big numbers. And now I have to subtract them? How will I ever solve these problems? Well, if you thought that adding two two-digit numbers was easy, you are all set to subtract two two-digit numbers. Let's give it a try. We're going to be using some tools in class to subtract. We already know which tool is most efficient because we learned that last week. We know that the most efficient tool to use when subtracting large numbers is base 10 blocks. Remember that when we subtract a problem, we are trying to find the difference. When we add two numbers together, we take a part, plus a part, and find our whole, which is the sum. When we subtract two numbers, we start with our whole, and then we take part away, and we find our difference. The difference is the answer in a subtraction problem. Let's try and solve 68 minus 23 using base 10 blocks. First, I'm going to build the number 68. To build the number 68, I should have used 6 tens and 8 ones. Let's check my work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ones. When I subtract, I don't have to build the second number. If I built 23 next, I would be putting together a group of 68 and a group of 23. I don't need to build the number 23. I need to take 23 away. How do you think I could show taking 23 away? I could pull away 23 base 10 blocks and put them on the side of my board or tomorrow in class when you do it on your whiteboards, you could erase 23, or you could put X's to show that you're taking away 23. For this problem, I'm gonna slide away 23. Just like when we add, we always start with the ones when we subtract. First, I'm going to take away three ones because I have a three in my ones place in the number 23. Then, I'm going to take away two tens because there is a two in my tens place in the number 23. Once I've taken 23 away from 68, I can see what I have left. I have five ones left, one, two, three, four, five, and I have four tens left, one, two, three, four. 68 minus 23 equals 45. Let's try another one. I'm going to build the number 98 since 98 is my whole. The whole is the number I start with when I subtract. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tenths, and 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. I just built the number 98, which is my whole. Remember, just like when we add, we start in the ones place. We're going to do the same when we subtract. Always subtract the ones place first. I see that I have the number 46 that needs to be taken away. So I'm going to start with the ones and I need to take away six ones. This time I'm going to X out six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. When I X out my six ones, I have two ones left. So I'm going to put a two in the ones place. I need to take away four tens for the number 46. One, two, three, four. When I X out four tens, I have one, two, three, four, five tens left. So I'm going to put a five in my tens place. 98 minus 46 equals 52. 52 is the difference in this subtraction problem. Don't forget to always subtract the ones first and then subtract your tens place. In class tomorrow, you can X out what you're taking away. You can erase on your whiteboard what you're taking away. Or if you're working with base 10 blocks, you can move what you're taking away out of the picture. Now it's your turn. Use the base 10 blocks to help you find the difference to this subtraction problem. 79 minus 56. I've already built the first number for you, or the whole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 ones. Your whole is 79. You need to subtract the number 56 to find your difference. Remember that you always need to subtract your ones first. If you need to draw this picture on your homework sheet, you can do that. But on your homework sheet, you need to write the answer to this subtraction problem. Pause the video if you need more time. If not, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.